Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an awesome Hangman-like game called Balloon Man. This game is a lot like Hangman, where you start off with just a little basic undrawn character, and as time goes on, the stick man will be filled up when you miss. Except it's just a little bit less brutal. The dude is just holding on to a big balloon, and if you draw him all, he'll float away. As you can see here, it just printed out a hidden word on the bottom of the screen, and I can guess a letter. I'm going to go with E. You can see that I missed it, and it shows the missed letter up top here and it drew the hand of the stick man so i'll go ahead and then try s oh okay so that's incorrect as well so you can see it drew the next part so maybe a okay so a was correct so you can see it reprinted the word so it has an a right there and you can see if i go ahead and miss all of these letters it keeps on drawing it and then at the very end if i miss it you can see it just kind of floats up and it'll tell me the answer which was waltz and then it'll tell me the score now the score is calculated by how many words you've got correctly and more specifically the letter in that word. So say I would have won this, well that would have given me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 score. So that's just how this game works. So the bigger the word, the more score you get. And then say if I get it correct, you can see if I put the H in the earth, it'll do a cool animation, go up, the bars will come down, and then it'll fade out and fade into a new word. And what's also cool is that the game will actually remember what words you've used, so that way you can never get the same word twice. And I think right now there's like 83 words, but you can of course add as many as you'd like. Theoretically, you could have an infinite amount of words. Make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing, and of course, leave a comment down below. Now, without further ado, let's get into coding this game. Okay, so let's go over the sprites and costumes you will need. So first of all, we have this sprite called Text Engine, and within it, it just has a bunch of texts or letters characters, whatever. And you can see that it starts with A, and they're just in all caps, and it is named lowercase a, then B, C, D, E, F, G, and it goes all the way down to Z. After that, we have 27, which is named the underscore, and that's the underscore. We have blank, which is literally just named one blank space. So how you do that is you delete everything in it and then press space once, and that will be the space. Then we have the 29, which is a colon. Then we have one all the way through nine with the text, and then we have zero after that. So that way we can print out pretty much any message we want. Then we have Balloon Man, which is the main character, and I actually spelled that wrong. And within it, I just have the different stages of its health. So the first one is just the balloon, then we have the arm, we have its head, we have its head with the eyes, we have its body, then its right arm, then its left leg, and its right leg. So those are just the different costumes, and they're just named 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Last but not least, we have this wind manager. I didn't really know what else to call it, so I guess that's fine. We have one sprite that is literally just blank, called small, and then another one called bars, which are bars. Wow, who would have guessed? Then we have one called fade, which is just this square that will fade the screen. Okay, so let's start in the text engine, making the text be able to be printed out if that makes any sense. So we want to start by just hiding the original sprite and setting the size to 100%. Now we want to go ahead and add a new broadcast called load new word, like so. Now when I receive load new word, we're going to make a custom block called new word like this and click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and run that custom block in the when I receive. Now this will actually manage the finding the correct word, printing the word, and all of that stuff, keeping track of all that good stuff. Now we want to go ahead and make a custom block called print, like this, with a colon, then an input text with a label called y with a colon, an input y, then a label called size with a colon, and an input size, and that will be good for now. Then we want to go ahead and just do print for now, let's just do a test like this, the Y will be negative 125, and the size will be 100. Okay, so now inside of this text block, we're going to basically use the number counter from my number counter tutorial, except it's a little bit modified. So let's go ahead and set the size to the size and clear the graphics effects. Then we want to go ahead and calculate the width of the text that we're printing out. Make a custom block called get width of text with a colon, of course and an input called text, and you can click run screen without refresh. Now you want to go ahead and get the width of the text after you set the size of the text. Make sure you do it after, otherwise it won't work because it's dependent on its size. Now for the width of the text, we want to make a for the sprite only variable called i, and this will just be our iterator variable, and you want to go ahead and set that 
to 1. Then we want to make another for the sprite only variable called text offset. And this will calculate how much we need to move the text around to get it perfectly centered. And we'll go ahead and set that text offset in here to zero. We want to go ahead and repeat the length of text like here. Switch costume to the letter one of Apple and change this to the letter I of the text. And that is the current character we're going over. Then we want to change the text offset by we need to figure out the current spacing for that character and the reason this we can't just do a specific number is every single character has a different width for instance a is 20 as you can see here but if i go down to l it is actually 17. so we need to store all of the widths of the characters in a big long list so let's make that list called character spacing like this and then go ahead and do the item one of character spacing in here and change this to the costume number so basically that's like getting the id out of it for instance if it was a that would be the costume number would be one so it would look for item one in character spacing then once we're done with that we change i by one so it keeps going now we need to average off the text offset to do that we want to go ahead and put a divided by and put in the text offset, then divide that by the length of text, so it divides it. This will be a teeny bit off, so we can't just do the text offset. What we wanna do is add on to that the spacing of the last character like this, and this will get us the correct offset. Now we don't actually have any spacing, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Make a custom block called set character spacing and then run screen without refresh now you want to set the character spacing above there make sure you do it above the load new word now what we want to do is delete all of the character spacing and then add the correct one for all of them so you just go in order and add the width so for instance the first one would be 20 so we just add 20 to character spacing for a then b is 20 as well so go ahead and add 20 again c is 21 so you just add 21 then you just keep on going all the way so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so i made it all the way to z and as you can see this is 18 so next is 12 on the list instead of 12 i'm gonna do 15 that way there's a little extra space and after that one there is the actual space here which doesn't have a width so you can set that to anything you'd like to change the amount of space in between words so i'm going to put that at 10. That way there's 10 pixels in between. After that, we have the colon, which is eight. So I'll just add eight to the list. And then last but not least, all the numbers are the same width. As you can see, they're all 16. So all we need to do is repeat 10 because that's how many numbers we have. We can add the 16, which is the width of the numbers, to the character spacing. Alrighty, so now when we start the game, we have all these spacings for the characters. You can see that the text offset gets set as well, which is good. Duplicate the length of text right here, and then take all of that times the text offset, then take the text offset times the size divided by 100. So if the size is 100, it'll just take it times 1. If it's 200, it'll take it times 2. We want to half that and make it negative, to, so take it times negative 0.5. Then we want to go ahead and add on to all of that, duplicate this part right here, text offset and all that and put that in there. Then for the Y, go ahead and just do negative 135, so it always starts at the bottom and then smoothly goes up. So to make that smooth part, make a variable called Y, which is the Y position for the clones, and set the Y to that actual input Y. Now we can set the I to one, so it starts back at the beginning, and we can go ahead and just repeat the length of text. Now we can do the switch costume to letter I of text from over there, that will work for us and then we want to create a clone of myself so it prints out a new one next we can change the x by the spacing which all it is is this right here the item costume number of character spacing and then to make that correct with the size you can take that times these sizes divided by 100 so it'll increase as the text gets bigger then we want to change the i by one make sure you do a when i start as a clone show so it shows the brand new numbers okay so let's test this out you can see, oh yeah, look at that. It prints out the letters and you can even try to put a space in there. So like this is a test. You see that there's a bunch of spaces 
and boom, it prints it out. Now the spacing actually does look a little bit off, so I must have copied something incorrectly. Okay, so I just redid this because I put in the wrong width, so make sure you actually match the ones correctly, otherwise it'll look bad. Now that I fixed those up, you can see that it actually is aligned perfectly, no matter what we do. So we could even do like one, two, three with a colon, then a space test maybe, and you can see that it'll print out one, two, three, colon, test, and it's also perfectly centered. Okay, so now we have this little text engine, so we can actually use it. Let's do a little bit of animation for the clones. So make a for the sprite only variable called ID like this, and go ahead and set that ID here in the very beginning to sprite, because it is the sprite, obviously. Make sure you do that above everything. Then at the end here, you can duplicate that, and then right here, set that ID to the letter. Now in the beginning here, you can do an if else and check if the ID is equal to letter, which means we are the letter. That's a lot of letters. Now we want to make sure we always move to this variable y. So to do this, we can do a change y by y with a minus here and put its y minus its current y. Then we want to take all of that times 0.3 so it will smooth it out a bit. And you can go ahead and put that in there. Now we want to do a go to front so it's in front of everything. Okay, so as you can see now, if we go ahead and print out test say, it smoothly moves up and it looks awesome. Next up, let's make it actually print out a random word from a list of a basically database you can think of words that we can have. So make a list that will contain those called word list, and you can add as many words to this list as you want. In this word list, I'm going to right click and click on import and then import this txt of words and all it is is just words with an indent so hang on let me show you what I mean this is all it is it just has the word a line break and then another word and you can just import that as a list so now let's make a custom block to find an unused word so make a custom block called find unused word now go ahead and run that find unused word right above here in the find unused word we want to go ahead and repeat a random amount between 1 and 10 times make a variable called word which will contain the word that we need to guess set that variable word to the item one of word list and change this to pick random one to ten and instead of the ten here you can just do the length of word list and if we click the green flag you can see that it's picking a random word each time now we want to make a list called used words so this will keep track of all the words that we've used that way it doesn't do the same one twice in an if else checking if the length of the used words is equal to the length of the actual word list, which means we've used every single word. We can delete used words that way it starts all over. Otherwise, if we still have some room left, we can repeat until not the used word contains the word. That means that this word is not already been used. Then we can duplicate this so it just keeps finding a new one. Now in the app word, once we do all this stuff, we can go ahead and just add thing to the use words and change this to words so that way it makes sure it updates that. Then we want to go ahead and add a broadcast here called clear text like this. Then in a when I receive clear text we can duplicate this if clone id equals to letter. Make sure you change that to an if though and then you want to go ahead and delete this clone so it removes itself. So each time we print a new one, it'll clear it out. So now let's go ahead and make it hide the word. That way it doesn't just show the answer because that would kind of ruin the point of the game. So we need to actually convert it to underscores and all that stuff. So we want to go ahead and make a list called letters in word. And now we can make a custom block called hide word like this and make sure you click run screen without refresh. Now I have no idea where that went. Okay, so I'm just going to reload the page real quick and hope that it pops in. Maybe I canceled it, maybe. So hide word. Run screen without refresh. Click OK. There it is. Okay, so in the hide word, we want to go ahead and set the i variable to 1 and then delete all of the letters in word list thingy. Now we want to repeat the length of, which is the green length of the word, which is the word we're looking for. We want to go ahead and add an if else checking if the letter one of apple and change this to letter i of word so this is the current character in the word 
is equal to blank and then not blank we want to add a space to it so that means that we are in between a word then we want to go ahead and add blank and then add a space right there otherwise we want to just do an underscore then once we're done we change i by one now we want to go ahead and run the hide word underneath the find unused word like that then we want to go ahead and move this used word up above here like that wait hold up this is actually all in the wrong spot i don't know what i'm doing this should actually not have any of that this should be in the new word custom block so we need to first find an unused word then we want to hide the word so you can't see it then we want to add it to the list then you want to clear the text and then print it and so now if we start the game you can see that this is set to this game is hard and the letters in word match that so this is t h i s space g a m e space i s space h a r d so you can see that that matches it's just blank and what's cool is if i click on this it actually prints out a variable so what we can do is just print out this right here so now whatever this is you can see that it prints out the hidden version of it so this game is bad this game is bad so there we go it just hit it okay so now this is working awesome this game will be shared in the the description down below there's a lot of cool words to try to guess so have fun and go play if you want thank you all so much for watching i hope this tutorial helped you out if it did make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing so yeah this has been owen and i'm out